Check this out, guys. I'm about to drop a nugget on you guys. These right here are the ultimate breaks and beats. These were introduced to the West Coast by Steve Yano. They came from the East Coast to the West Coast, and they were sold only at the Rhodium. You can still see the Rhodium sticker there. And these are called, once again, the ultimate breaks and beats. If you're a DJ or a producer, you better know what these are. If not, don't call yourself a DJ or a producer. Me and High C right here, we know about these. Back in the day, I would have doubles of everything. Uh, here's a quick story. When Ice Cube left NWA, he came over to my pad, and I was playing some beats for him. Before he left to New York to do his album, America's Most Wanted, he actually uh, um, asked me if he can borrow a set of my uh, Ultimate Breaks and Beats. I let him borrow it, never saw the dude again, man. I guess that's what he meant by jacket for beats. But you know what? <laughs> Much love to Ice Cube. He helped put not only Compton, South Central, but West Coast on the map. So much love to him. But once again, these are the records that Steve introduced to the West Coast. You don't believe me? Ask Dr. Dre. And we out. Yep.